Hello everyone, my name is Ernest Tondera and welcome again to another episode of Quick Fix Latest News and detailed information about cars. Today we're going to show you how to check, diagonalize and solve check engine light caused by diagnostic trouble code P2181, which is a cooling system performance malfunction and it's often triggered by the power trail control, control module when it detects that the temperature of the coolant in the radiator is not within the acceptable range. It is either too hot or cold. The main causes for this diagnostic trouble code error uh, could be the following. A malfunction or faulty engine coolant temperature sensor. Uh, secondly, it could be engine coolant level not up to the required level due to a leak or other factors like not filling as required. Faulty thermostat stuck in open or closed position could also be a problem. Engine overheating due to water pump not working. Failed cooling pump, bad cooling circulation, low coolant volume not enough to cool the engine. And the possible symptoms for this uh, problem are that uh, you might see very high or very low readings from the engine temperature gauge indicating some malfunction. If your vehicle does not have a temperature gauge and instead has a temperature warning light, your engine control module might light up the warning light to let you know that the temperature is outside the range that is required. It's either hot or cool. Another symptom is the indirect effect of fuel economy cost when the engine is running too cold. When your thermostat is stuck open, it will cause a continuous flow of engine coolant from the engine to the radiator, which will cool the entire setup. The engine will not rise it to its desired operating temperature. The electronic control module will then shift the air to fuel mixture to a rich blend to heat the engine, reducing the fuel efficiency. This might also cause your heater not to be able to warm up your car. The engine running cold is one possible symptom, but this might also cause your engine to heat up, which has a more negative impact. A thermostat stuck closed might stop coolant flow from the engine to the radiator and your engine will operate at a far higher temperature than that is required. Also, the malfunctioning cooling fan or pump could also be the reason for your engine heating up. This might cause your air conditioner not to work correctly and not cool your car. The engine heating causes a lot of damage to your car and in comparison to your engine running uh, when it's cool. Now this is how you can check and diagonalize this trouble called uh, P2181. If your vehicle is getting a called P2181 we are going to show you in three practical solutions to fix the error code easily, even at your home if you've got a basic scan tool. But for the purpose of demonstration today, we're going to, to use a Launch X431 model. Uh, first, make sure your car is switched off, and then plug in the 16-pin OBD cable to the vehicle, and you can see uh, the diagnosis process uh, is going on. P2181 code is normally triggered when the vehicle powertrain control molding detects that the coolant temperature in the radiator and engine is outside of the normal temperature gauge. So there are three most practical solutions to fix this error code P2181. And method A, it's about the coolant temperature sensor. Uh, you need to inspect the coolant temperature sensor and uh, if faulty, you replace the temperature sensor. So in most cases, the primary uh, temperature sensor is installed near the thermostat on the cylinder head. You will need to remove the coolant temperature sensor from the engine and use a multimeter to proceed with a test on the coolant temperature sensor at an ambient temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit the sensor resistance should be between 2,000 ohms to 3,000 ohms. If you do not get a reading, then this indicates that the 
Coolant temperature sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. However, if the coolant temperature sensor has a correct reading, then you will proceed with method B. And method B, you need to cool down the engine, you need to drain the used coolant, and you need to add new coolant. So what you'll have to do is the engine coolant reservoir is often a translucent white bottle at the radiator. Is the large in front of the car. Cool down and remove the radiator. Locate the radiator lower hose and place a container underneath the hose. Then remove the hose and allow the coolant to drain. To better drain out the used coolant, start the engine and turn the temperature control to maximum heat. Closely monitor the temperature gauge on your dashboard to prevent engine overheating. Once the used coolant is drained out completely, you'll need to turn off the engine and replace the hose back. Next, add fresh coolant to the radiator until it reaches the base of the fuller neck and then take off the cap of the coolant reservoir. Fill it with fresh coolant, not exceeding the full line mark, and then replace the cap. So on this Jeep, as you can see, the reservoir tank was marked uh, reason was ma was way above the full line mark. So after filling, start the engine and let it idle for a few minutes to let the system purge all the air out and then add coolant as needed. You need to replace the reader cap. Closely monitor the coolant temperature gauge on your dashboard. Once the coolant temperature gauge reaches 190 degrees Fahrenheit, turn it, turn the engine off. After the engine has completely cooled down, remove the radiator cap and add coolant to its full level. Then uh, there's method C. Method C, you'll need to remove the thermostat and install a new thermostat. And in most cars, the thermostat is placed near the water pump on the cylinder head. First, carefully remove the thermostat from the engine. And the engine has to be cool before attempting the process and then install a new thermostat. To install it correctly, you need to make sure that the short end goes towards the hose and the deep end goes towards the engine. When you install it back to the engine, make sure the jiggle valve is pointed straight to the top of the engine so the air can get through the system. After the repairs, uh, you can use a scan to clear the error codes. Uh, as shown. So how serious is this uh, P2181 in your vehicle? Well, running engine coal will have less impact on your engine but will have more impact on, on fuel economy and can cost you a lot to keep the car running in terms of fuel prices. And when the engine running hot has the potential to completely break your engine as the heat can cause expansion of piston and cylinders. Such damage cannot be repaired, and you will have to find an engine replacement. So in conclusion, uh, we recommend that you look into this issue as soon as you can, because the potential of engine damage by overheating is very high. Even mild overheating can cause a lot of expensive repairs to the engine. While fixing this problem, you need to be very careful not to replace any parts that are not malfunctioning and rather focus on finding the faulty parts causing the extreme engine temperatures. Uh, I hope uh, you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share and comment. Uh, and I hope to see you again in another episode of Quick Fix Latest News and detailed information about cars. Thank you very much.